Marco Rivero is making a Peruvian dish called chaufo de pollo. His wife Juana Rivas is cutting samples of a Peruvian dessert she made for the grand opening of their new restaurant, Waisiki. All my dream was uh, to open a restaurant. Both are graduates of the six-month culinary school at Eva's Village. The nonprofit's mission is to support people struggling with hunger, homelessness, poverty and addiction. We opened the culinary school five years ago in answer to the number of people that we were seeing both in our own programs and in the community in general who really lacked practical job skills. The school says every student that's gone through the culinary program has had a partial or full scholarship. We're really here for the students who wouldn't have the means or the opportunity to go anywhere else for this type of training. Marco and Juana are the first graduates of the program to open a restaurant. Their oldest daughter was proud, to say the least. For them to be immigrants to this country and find a way to have their own business was just mind-blowing. It like, definitely pushed me to study hard. This husband and wife are both from Lima, Peru, but they met here in Patterson over 20 years ago. Patterson has one of the largest Peruvian populations in the United States where I'm standing. This is Peru Square. This area is just a few minute drive away from the newest restaurant. Peru Square is a concentration of, of uh, some business and restaurants from Peruvians. Deputy Council General of Peru Alejandro Beotis says Peruvians started coming to Patterson in the late 1960s. This was the Silk City. They were uh, accustomed to to work for fashion factories. By the 1980s, Beotis says around 75 percent of the Peruvian population in New Jersey was based in Patterson. That's why a consulate of Peru was opened in Patterson in 1987. The Silk industry was very, very strong here. And on the 90s, you know that they started to finish. Bill T says that's when many Peruvians migrated to other parts of the state. The Deputy Council General estimates there are close to 122,000 Peruvians in New Jersey today. He says about 20,000 are in Patterson. But Beotis says Peruvians from all across the state make their way back to the Silk City on the weekends to eat at the restaurants that offer them a taste of home. Why Siki, which means welcome to my house in Quechua, hopes to do just that now the doors are open. In Patterson, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News.